YouTube. Welcome to Geek Shh. All right, so last week we did a 4K transcode test on a T400. And this week we're going to be doing the T1000. On the screen, you'll see all the pertinent information that you might be interested in. And without wasting any time, let's go straight into the 4K transcode test for Plex. So let's get directly into this one. You know, another week, another Trex Plex transcode video. So this time we are doing the T1000. Last week I did the T400. So this is going to be interesting. And I should definitely be doing better, have better results than the T400 one. So let's go ahead and get to it. Let's uh, check in with the system. We under a little under four gigs of RAM being utilized. The CPU is not doing much around 10%. IGPU is doing nothing. Uh, 25 watts, the GPU is pulling. Then we're not, we didn't start anything yet. So the GPU usage is zero. And then the total, uh, you know, UPS load for the entire system is around 45 watts. So let's go ahead and get to it. First and foremost, come on now, glory, man. Y'all know we do the same ones every time, man. Denzel Washington crying on cue. Total classic movie. If you never seen it, make sure you go out there and check it out. The great little movie, two hours. You know what I mean? It was definitely more amazing during the 90s, but it's still a good watch even to this day. So let's go ahead and force that transcode to 720p from 4K. We can't lose. So let's definitely uh, force this transcode. Um, Matthew Broderick. All right, there it go. And let me put this to the dashboard. HDR tone mapping is turned off, people. All right, so go ahead and put the dashboard. There we go. It's not really showing that it's transcoding. Okay, there we go. There go the hardware transcoding kicking in. It's showing it on the screen. So let's get to the next one. Well, let's check in with the system real quick. We jumped up to 4.4 gigs of RAM. Still hovering around 10%. IGPU is doing nothing. 63 watts for the overall system. And y'all see what it's doing right there with the decoding and encoding. It's still jumping around. And the GPU power is around 28 watts. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and we're gonna check back in with the system in a couple of movies. So Sixth Sense, classic movie, Bruce Willis. You can't go wrong with this one. This is definitely, I think, Bruce Willis' biggest movie that he ever did. Please pray for Bruce Willis. Bruce Willis has all type of medical complications at the moment. So this started up. Let's go ahead and push this down to 720p. Classic movie, man. You know what I mean? You can't really lose with this one. I think it's between this one and Unbreakable might have been Bruce Willis' two biggest movies. And, well, obviously, uh, the Strike movie. I can't remember the name of it. So we push that to 720p. All right, cool. Hardware transcoding. We good. Let's get to the next one. Hocus Pocus 2. Still haven't seen it, but Hocus Pocus 1 was definitely a classic when I was a kid. Gotta love it, man. So... Definitely wanted to check this one out sooner or later. Uh, so let's go ahead and force that transcode. Sometimes I find myself trying to wait till the 15 second mark to do it because of that issue I had with one of the cards, uh, you know, a few months back. So that's why I kind of try to draw it out a little bit, but gotta remember, I don't really need to do that. So right now we got three of them going right now to 720p so let's check back in with the system we done jumped up to 5.2 gigs of ram total cpu usage under 20 percent igpu doing nothing 29 watts and there we jumping around right now with the gpu usage that's kind of surprising i'm not gonna lie like uh, what <laughs> and then 72 watts of you know total load on the system 81 watts or whatever is jumping around so Everything is jumping around right now. So let's keep going until we run into an issue. So we got Home Alone now. So this is the second Remux movie that I have in the collection. You got to remember, Glory is the first Remux. This is the second Remux. So these are the two biggest um, files that I'm using when it comes to these 4K movies. So Home Alone is definitely a classic. You got to love Home Alone. It still rings off during the holidays put that on even the kids of this generation still appreciate the movie so it's definitely one of those movies you definitely want to have in your collection part one and part two can't go wrong with either one of them i personally still enjoy watching it during the holidays 
So the next movie we're gonna jump into is Aretha Franklin, R-E-S-P-E-C-T. Movie is okay. It's nothing really to really go crazy about at all. If you see it, you see it. If you didn't see it, just as well. It's not really nothing crazy. You know what I mean? So they digged into her, you know, Aretha Franklin past was just so sketchy because you heard so many people talk about, you know, she was, she might have been a lady of the night if you get my drift. You know, it's a lot of things they say about her. So who knows what's the, the honest to God truth. But RP Aretha Franklin, nonetheless, definitely a legend. So right now we have five going at the moment. So it's a good look. It's a good look. It's definitely doing its thing. A little on the six gigs of RAM. IGPU doing nothing. 16% on the CPU. And this is surprising. It's looking like it's what? It's getting up there. Uh, we're jumping up in the total um, UPS load and we're 42 watts. Okay. All right. So it's settling down a little bit. Let's keep going until we can no longer go. So right now we're going to jump into the Avengers Infinity War. Come on, man. You can't lose with this one, man. Shout out to Thanos. I'm still waiting for Marvel to do Thanos the beginning movie. And when they do that, I most definitely will be there front row not front row definitely in a good seat but i'm definitely going nothing will stop me from watching that movie if they ever decide to come out with donald's the beginning man i gotta see it man. i have to see something like that i want to see how donald's all began i'll probably call one of my cousins let me go ahead and force this trench go sorry y'all i'm talking too goddamn much my cousins used to collect comic books back in the day i know they know donald's whole story so i'll probably talk to one of them about it so we went ahead and pushed that trans code right now we got six going at the time make sure y'all pay attention to these icons because if one go away that means we hit our limit so let's go do one more and then we're going to check back in with the system turbinator genesis come on now this wasn't a bad one at all it definitely added to the terminator series it was definitely a good look if you love the terminator series like me been watching it since i was a kid they said Terminator was the first movie that the second one was just as good or better than the first. They said Terminator was the first one. I loved all the Terminator movies. I can't hold you. They were all great to me. So we pushed that transcode. Right now we're sitting at seven 4K transcodes, which is definitely a good look. Let's check back in with the system. We done jumped up to 6.7, 42% cpu is definitely getting to it like this is surprising all right 40 watts all right this is still jumping around but it's definitely damn it's definitely high this is jumping around as well so let's keep going until we could go no longer make sure you pay attention to those icons at the top so we're sitting at seven and we're going to get to sisu i still ain't watch sisu y'all last week i told y'all i was going to watch it before uh i do this one but it's a week for y'all, but it was basically a few seconds for me. So I definitely wasn't able to commit to that. What I told y'all, I apologize for that. I don't know what I was thinking about. Because I most definitely, I'm doing this one right after the T400 one that I did. Make sure y'all go back and check out that T400 video. Because these are definitely pretty good. So this went through, no problem. So that's a good look. Right now, let's check back in with the system again. Because at the end of the day, we want to make sure... All right, so 97%, okay. UPS load, 108. I definitely hear the fan kicking on on this fan, is on this card. It's not loud at all. It's definitely not loud at all, but I definitely hear it kicking on like crazy. So we definitely getting up there, we getting to it. So now we're gonna jump into Ambulance. Ambulance is just one of those movies. It wasn't really good, it wasn't really bad. If you see it, you see it. If you don't, you don't. This is just one of the things you watch if you're bored. It didn't stand out at all. Um, but oh, Sisu just buffered. Sisu just buffered. And I think this was the same results as a T400. Wow. This is real surprising. Sisu just buffered, y'all. That is really surprising. Let's let's push this to 720p. That is really surprising. It's surprising, but then it's not surprising at all. Because even with the Intel GPUs. I ran into this issue as well. 
With the Intel GPUs, the A770 performs the exact same way as the A380. So I thought, you know, if you got more RAM, it's it's, it's gonna give you better performance. I could have sworn this is the same situation I had with the T400 where the ambulance just did not start. <laughs> like CSU buffer and the ambulance didn't start. This is the type of nonsense that happened. So it does not pay to pay more. It does not give you better results to pay more, obviously, because we're only at we're at nine. So and ambulance is not starting up. So that's we're tapped out right now. You see, it's at 100 percent. The system at 100 percent it's not going to happen so and sisu just buffered so that's it <laughs> same results as the t400 so it really makes zero sense if you're someone that's looking for a single slot card it makes no sense to go with the t1000 to pay extra the t400 will do you just as well so that's very surprising to me but then again it, like i said it's not really surprising because i've seen results of what happened previously so this is the t1000 this has eight gigs of ram last week we did the t400 and it looks like we basically having the same results six seven movies um i will personally only do six but you know you could get away with seven to tell you the truth those are the lucky numbers for it as far as the hdr I would imagine it has the same exact results because that's what happened on the T400. T400, I was able to do six movies with HDR tone mapping turned on. But nonetheless, whether you're doing the T400 or the T, I wouldn't get this. I wouldn't get this particular card. The T1000, I would definitely not get it for Plex. But with the T400, you know, you you have HDR tone mapping, and both of them are single slot cards. I will actually go with the T400 over the A310 by Intel, just because I'm on Windows and that HDR tone mapping definitely could come in handy at times. Those was the ones I'm looking for. The T400 is cheap. It's not as cheap as the Intel A310. The A Intel A310 is only $100, but I would definitely find this one, the T400 on the used market. And the beautiful thing about the Quadro series when it comes to Nvidia, is that you don't have to mess with the drivers, um, the NVIDIA drivers. Whereas if you're using something like the 3080, the 3070, the 1660, all those other GPUs that's meant for gaming, you have to do something with the drivers to get them to transcode more than one or two Plex movies at the time. So with the Quadro series, you don't have to worry about that. It just does what it's supposed to do. So. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll be back on the next one. Um, The next one, I think I'm going to do the best CPU that I feel at the moment that you can get for a Plex server. It's still going to be UHD 770, but it's going to be the 12500T or the 12600T, which has a TDP of 35 watts. It's going to be interesting to see how that compares to the 12900K. I want to definitely do that. So that's probably going to be the next one I do. So please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll be back to y'all on the next one. Peace. Oh, one more thing before I get out of there. Let me show y'all because I didn't show y'all this on the T400. Let me show y'all one more thing. I'm, I, I'm sorry about that. One more thing I wanted to do. Um, I just wanted to show y'all how AV1 reacts to the system. The system reacts to AV1. Let's go to Van Helsing. So it encodes total CPU usage going crazy at 77 and it encodes, but it cannot decode. So there you go when it comes to doing an AV1 and that's without me transcoding it down to 720p. Let's see if it has the same results when you, uh, as I did with Rain Man, when I try to bring it down to 720p, hold on. Yeah, it doesn't even want to do it. So it is what it is. All right, y'all be back with y'all on the next one.